Good morning, everyone. This is Hope with your Tuesday morning devotion. What a week we went through. Oh, my, oh, my. I'm so happy to have been able to join in some of the presentations at our 108th assembly. Man, on Sunday, Reverend Chin emphasized on refocusing on the word, on a vision, and on community. Yes. Friends, we should never feel alone. We need to help each other at all costs. Let us always give thanks to our Almighty, whether we are the receivers or the givers. So this morning, I'll briefly touch on how the Bible encourages us to give thanks. In many chapters of the Bible, it tells us, that even in good or hard times, we are to give thanks. We are to give thanks even in the in-between and that we are to be continually thankful in all circumstances. Let me quote some verses to back this up. Philippians 4.4, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Verse 6, Do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Ephesians 5.20, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus. So then, if we are to give thanks in all situations, it means even when facing despair, sadness, anxiety, and loss, we are still to give thanks to God. See, as we plea for help in these times, we still have to be thankful for everything else. Yes, it is so much easier to thank God when he has already provided and met all our needs. I like to read the Psalms about thanking God. Psalm 67 thanks God for provision and harvest. Psalm 65, for salvation. Psalms 107, for God as Redeemer. Psalm 75, for fair judgment. Psalm 124, for deliverance. And there are so much and so many more in the Psalms, always thanking God. We see also in the New Testament how thankfulness is shown to God and Jesus. The blind man in Luke gave thanks for his sight. The Samaritan, cured of leprosy, gave thanks. We also saw Jesus giving thanks to God. Remember the five loaves and fishes? That miracle that we read in the Bible on that day? Yes, folks, Jesus looked up to heaven and gave thanks to his Father before he performed the miracle. Amen. Folks, We serve a God who is the provider of all things, from the air we breathe to the food we eat. He answers our prayers large or small. Like Paul said in Philippians 4.19, And thy God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Jesus Christ. That's why we have to give him thanks, folks, and always. What I leave for us today is, No matter what we face, God's goodness and mercy will never leave us. He prepares blessings for us in all seasons, which is why giving thanks matters so much. So right now, let us take a few moments to praise and thank God for all he's done in our lives. Father God, thank you for allowing us to see yet another day. God, you're so good, and your steadfast love endures forever. Lord, even when we are in a hard season, we still have reason to thank and worship you. Thank you, Lord. Father, thank you for giving us victory and abundant life in your Son, Jesus Christ, even though at times we don't deserve it. 
but you love us unconditionally, Lord, and always forgive us. God, thank you for always being with us by our sides. You comfort us and bless us in the presence of our enemies, and for this we give you thanks. Father God, nothing can compare to your, you, and no weapon can stand against you. Be glorified through us, Lord. Let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts bless your name at all times. We thank you and give you praise in your name. Amen and amen. Yes, friends, let us continue to give God the glory, give him the praise, give him the honor, give him thanks always. What a mighty God we serve. What a forgiving God we serve. God, we love you. Folks, have a great day, a great week, and we'll meet up again next week. Love you much. Bye.